I'm gonna do a quick review on this Ash Thorpe Stratocaster style guitar. 39 inches, all the hum, I mean the uh, single coils read about 5.5, five way switch. It's gonna be uh, fully open. And I'm gonna do a little playing for you. <laughs> So it sounds pretty decent. There are some few problems that I've come across uh, while trying to get it to play, which is, wasn't really a problem, but the frets came, it actually seemed like they leveled them out, but they just didn't crown and dress them, which isn't a problem for me. All you gotta really do is uh, take these strings that come on it and just sort of sand them off yourself. Just do that to every single string. Get all that scratchiness out of it. And if you want, you can take some really fine uh, sandpaper, 1,500 grit, 1,000 grit, buff it down. And then the next problem was the nut was a plastic piece of junk. And the worst thing about it was they super glued it in there so bad when I tried to tear it out, it ripped a big old piece of this wood back here, right off. About half of this, uh, the wood right there, just ripped right out. And then the biggest complaint I have is, which I'm gonna bring this closer, is the bridge. Let me just turn this around. So if, if you could tell on this E string to get it intonated, it's not even intonated yet. 
it's as good as it's going to get, but it's still a couple like cents off. So I had to put a bunch of washers back here. Just even get this thing to where this nut, I mean, this screw wouldn't touch the string. But the angle is so crazy. It, having to, it has to go back and then loop around. And what I had to do was actually had to push this all the way back as much as I could and tying the strings, I mean, tying the bridge down to even give me enough room to make this one go back far enough. So that's a major design flaw. I think they just put these screws just, I mean, well, they did just a few centimeters up too much. They could have went back. So I'm going to have to take this bridge off, plug up all those holes and bring the bridge back and then probably have to get a longer screw for this E string, the high E string to even make it up this high. But there's a picture of that. Every single one is pretty much almost perfectly intonated, except this low E. It does come with nines on it, and I'm gonna put tens on it later on. Uh, but I always, I heard that if you put lower uh, string gauges, it actually makes it to where the bridge has to go back even further. So yeah, big problem with that. Other than that, pretty decent guitar. Get a good look at those frets. There's that. Um, yeah, the pickups are pretty chimey. Um, as long as you have an EQ pedal, you'll be able to make it sound the way you want it to sound. And I am going through this right here. It's a solid state fender. I have the mic there, but I didn't mic it up. This is all camera, camera microphone. So I get, yeah. would I recommend this? It's really tough. You know, I don't know if I just got a bad one. I've seen other people review them and they say great things, but you just never know. Um, it was $89, so killer deal on that. comes with a great bag. The bag's awesome. But just this whole bridge thing is just kind of a bummer. And hopefully, you know, if they hear it, hopefully they could, uh, you know, fix it. You know, take uh, whatever they need to do at headquarters to get that fixed. All right, guys, if you want another more uh, in-depth video on this, just let me know. I'll make one for you.